Well, hello out there. Welcome to our regular Thursday morning Zoominar. This is John Miller, founding attorney with Rock Solid Law, celebrating our 30th year in practice independently. 37th year altogether. Wow. Uh, that was the Commodores with Zoom, our theme song that uh, we're playing for you this morning. I got a, got a good subject today. And uh, it's for you uh, small business owners that we love to serve. And uh, let me hit that for you. So the old saying, a stitch in time saves nine, is one that always has had meaning for me. Uh, for those of you with a few less uh, revolutions around the sun under your belt, that is an old fashioned saying that essentially means if you make the one stitch as soon as you see the rip, uh, you won't have to make nine more or 10 total stitches uh, after the rip gets bigger. And that is really what uh, small business representation by Rock Solid Law is all about. Um, I grew up as a litigator and uh, my practice was in representing uh, small businesses, actually large businesses first. And then when I established my independent practice, small businesses uh, in, um, in the courtroom fighting over uh, transactions uh, that uh, had not gone well. And that was the basis on which I built my practice representing small businesses to try to keep them out of court. For you see the only people, there's an old saying, who wins at the courthouse? The lawyers. The lawyers are gonna get paid and the clients are gonna pay them. One client's gonna win and one client's gonna lose. Sometimes judges are Solomonic and figure out how to split the baby. But typically there's a winner and a loser. But even the winner I found in my experience often was unhappy with the result because they had spent so much money to get there. So uh, my practice developed throughout the 1990s to a much more transactional practice, which is what we have today. We don't go to court at all. In fact, I see one of my main jobs is keeping my small business clients out of the courtroom because that, in my opinion, is a terrible expenditure of resources and we try to help our small business clients make all of their decisions based on uh, economic uh, uh, concepts and the, making the best economic decision moving forward for the success of their business. So um, most small business owners rarely hesitate to take advantage of certain resources like accountants and insurance agents when they start their business and, and throughout the life of their business. but uh, most business owners, unfortunately, don't view attorneys in the same light. I would submit to you that uh, an, a, a business attorney is as important as your bookkeeping and accounting and as your insurance to the successful life of your business and should be viewed as a cost of operating a business should be budgeted for in that cost of operating your business. Um, business owners are hesitant to contact an attorney until a major issue arises. That's uh, when the stitch in time didn't take place, right? Don't wait until the sheriff's at your door serving you with a lawsuit. Uh, lawsuits, whether you're the plaintiff or the defendant are expensive, time consuming and emotionally draining. They take away your intellect and your emotion from the operation of your firm where it needs to be. Here's some issues on where you need a business lawyer. When a business faces issues that are too complex, too time consuming or fraught with liability issues. At that point, the wisest move is to retain a business lawyer. Here's a few examples. Creating your legal partnership, operating or shareholders agreement. It's unbelievable how many times I've seen uh, people at the point of tearing a business apart who failed to put the time in at the front end, which could have saved a lot of the hassle and expense later and made getting out of a bad arrangement uh, viable. Um, for contracting with vendors and hiring independent contractors. Listen, I know you sign stuff all the time without reading it. If it's a kind of contract which could kill your business if it goes bad, you need your business lawyer to review it for you and to protect your downside. We can't always make a contract better, but we can often protect the downside so that it doesn't kill a business when a transaction goes bad. And they go bad, they just do. Uh, people go into contracts, I believe for the most part, not all the time, but I believe for the most part with the best of intentions. And many 
times things happen, a pandemic hits, whatever, and uh, everything goes sideways. So um, let's see, creating contracts for use with customers or clients. You need a lawyer creating contracts. That's what we're trained to do. We go to law school to learn to do that. That form you got off the internet is not going to suffice. Um, I tell a story that uh, I was reviewing a contract a client created one time. There's a term of art in there, a legal term. And I was like, why don't I know this? And the truth was I didn't know it because it was a Canadian term of uh, legal art. And I, it had no application in the United States. They'd gone on the internet and got a Canadian form. It's very easy to find stuff from other countries uh, and uh, create things that have no legal viability. Every time there's more than one owner of a business, there needs to be a buy-sell arrangement, transition planning. For my clients, we include transition planning in the business and transition planning uh, in estate planning uh, as an important part of that. You need a lawyer to update your partnership LLC or shareholder agreements uh, when you have changes uh, to what the business of the company is. You need a lawyer to help you with local, state, and federal government entities. Um, maybe if there's been a complaint, an investigation, or you have a permit of some kind, you need to apply. You need a lawyer when you make a special allocation of profits and losses, or if you want to contribute appreciated property to your partnership LLC, you need a lawyer to help you with the tax considerations of operating your business. You definitely need a lawyer for negotiating the sale of your company or acquisition of another company and its assets. I'm involved in a major one of those right now. It's an ounce, an ounce of prevention is worth pounds and tons of cure. Save your business and get a lawyer at the right time. Your emphasis should be placed on preventing occurrences in the first place. And that prevention comes with hiring an attorney and consulting on a regular basis with that attorney. By the time your business is sued, the preventable damage has been done. And the only question remains of how much you'll be paying in attorney's fees, costs, and damages. The small effort of beginning the process would save you an enormous headache later. Not only the monetary loss, but the emotional and intellectual loss of having to go through that. So to prevent unnecessary attorney costs, the inception of your business, as well as the tremendous cost after a lawsuit is filed, you might consider a consultation arrangement with an attorney, putting one on retainer so that when you have questions, you can call them up, right? We have a lot of clients that just leave an evergreen retainer on file with our firm, and we are there for them when they need us. Such an arrangement would entail you doing most of the legwork of research and the attorney providing legal review or guidance. Absolutely. We are always encouraging our clients to do what you can do yourself as far as you can take it. Just don't try to practice law if you haven't been trained in it, all right? We will let you do whatever it is you are willing to do to further your business pur purpose. Again, get in touch with an attorney before you need one. You won't need a lawyer for each and every legal issue that comes up in your business. But when you do, it's good to know where to find the right one and it's better to have already found them so you're not scrambling and then trying to get on a busy attorney's calendar. It's no secret, quality business lawyers have very, very packed, intense calendars and getting that time on there is really difficult. And more to the point, you may not know you need legal help until it's too late as attorneys can help you stay in compliance with the law and spot developing legal issues early. A lot of times, just because of our training and the years of experience that many of us have, uh, I'm able to just see, see a, an episode coming right down Main Street well before anybody else does, and we can take action ahead of time to avoid a problem. Get ahead of the curve by finding an experienced small business attorney. Uh, you're looking at one, and I'd be delighted for you to uh, consider using our services. The way that would work is we would have a, a consultation, uh, just an initial sit down meeting to see if we're a good fit for each other and talk about the terms of our representation, if so. So while there are costs associated with involving an attorney before a lawsuit 
or other problem occurs, those costs can be minor compared to the cost of litigation. They can be, they will be minor. Involving your attorney at an early stage will help you avoid situations that increase your business, that your business is liability, exposure, and save you money in the long term. I know this was a quick one this morning. I appreciate you being with me. Uh, we will put it up and have it available on our website. Um, I haven't seen anybody get on the, uh, what do we call that thing? The chat screen, which is right about where I pointed. If there are any questions, I'd be glad to take them. Um, otherwise, let me tell you that uh, we are going to be skipping a week, um, the Memorial Day week. We're not going to uh, teach on the Thursday right before the holiday weekend, and we'll pick up in June. And we are going to have a series on uh, the sandwich generation, those people who are taking care of both their aging parents and their children, whether uh, adults or minors, and uh, talk about the estate planning and legal issues surrounding those relationships. So tune in uh, the week after Memorial Day, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you then. I'm John Miller, founding attorney, Rock Solid Law. Mm -hmm.